Hi! In this video, I will show you how you can test the capacity of a 18650 lithium-ion battery using ZB2L3 module. For this project, you will need the ZB2L3 module, as well as the resistors that are usually included with the module. First let's have a look at the module build quality and the components that are attached on this board. The module comes with a nice compact sized PCB board well fabricated. A 4 digit 7 segment display is available to display the values of the battery under test. A micro USB port to power up this module with any 5 volt power source. 3 push buttons to set the desired voltage up to which the battery under test is to be drained. 3 LED lights which presents the ampere hours available. The amount of load in amperes that is currently being applied. And the voltage left across the battery terminals. And these respective values will be shown one after another on the 7 segment display. There are four terminal block connectors in which the extreme ends are for the load resistor to be connected. While the middle two are for the battery under test. The model of this module is mostly written on the top left corner of the PCB board. This module is capable of testing a battery with a maximum capacity of 15 volts and a maximum load of 3 amperes can be applied to it. You can also solder the supply voltage wires directly on these points of the PCB board. The package provides a pair of 5 watt 7.5 ohm resistors which will act as a load. And some PCB spacers so you may fix this module properly on a circuit board. Let's tighten these PCB spacers onto this module so that I may not lose them while working. We need to connect these resistors in parallel with this module that is why I recommend you solder these resistors as I have done it so that the resistors might not get loose specially during the test process. Now let's connect these resistors with this module and also tighten the screws properly. Also, I will be using this battery holder to connect the battery under test with the module. I have also prepared another module so that we may test two lithium-ion cells at once. For demonstration purposes, I will be testing these Chinese brand lithium-ion cells which I have already charged using my TP4056 charging module. If you haven't seen my video on this module, you can find a link to it in the description of this video. Let's now plug these lithium-ion cells into these battery holders properly so we may begin the testing process. Next, it's time to connect the 5 volts power source to the input of these modules. At first, the module is programmed to display the voltage that is present across the terminals of the battery under test. Right now, it's showing 4 volts. During the test process, these load resistors get quite hot and it's important to attach some heat sinks with these resistors to avoid any damage to the resistors or the module itself. The push button with plus and minus sign are available to set the voltage up to which the battery under test is to be drained. 
It is mostly recommended to set it to 3 volts for 18650 cells. Let's set 3 volts on both of these modules. And finally, press the OK button to start the test process. You can see that the test process has now started, and the module is displaying. Ampere hours available. Load in ampere. And voltage across the battery terminals one after the other. The test process can take from 5 minutes up to 1 hour to complete depends on the battery under test. So, sit back and relax until the process gets completed. After about 20 minutes the first battery test is completed, and it is showing a total of 0.5 ampere hours capacity. The second battery is still under test as it is showing more capacity than the previous one. Finally, after about 50 minutes the testing process for both the batteries are now completed. Here, the flickering is due to the shutter of the camera so let me turn of the light so you may observe the output values more clearly. The first battery has a total capacity of 0.522 ampere hours. While the second battery has a total capacity of 0.862 ampere hours. Since these batteries are cheap ones that is why they are showing such low capacities otherwise a good quality 18650 lithium ion battery mostly provides a capacity of 1800 to 400 ampere hours. With this module you can also test if a battery is faulty. Simply connect the battery and put it under test. If the module display error 3 message, then it means that the battery is faulty. Here you can see I am testing two batteries with this module, and it is displaying error 3 message on its display. That is how we can easily discard such batteries instead of using them in a battery bank to avoid its low performance. Enjoyed the tutorial, right? If yes, then do subscribe my YouTube channel, press the bell icon and like button to support my channel and to get updates whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and see you later.